when we were, we did four or five songs with John Goodmanson and Harvey Danger. Yes. Unreleased songs, as far as I know. I think they put them out as B-sides on their final album. Or Not the one that I had a solid writing credit on. Though. No, that was good. They, uh, well, you know what? A lot of your writing credit, I remember this very distinctly. I had a keyboard part, and then all of a sudden I heard that part coming from your guitar. And you were like, I wrote this. And I was like, that was my part. And you were like... <laughs> Nobody Just could hear like, it. nobody could hear your bullshit, and I was like, I was over here. That's true. It. You 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 always had to think down so low, and who would even know what you were? I was playing embarrassed. You were like, I, was, I was embarrassed of my playing, but you heard it, and then you were like, I wrote it on what the unreleased song that nobody ever heard. So well, it'll never be. Uh, and then I was like, well, diminishing now what's, returns, diminishing returns. Nah. And I'm like, well, now what's my part? And you were like, I don't care. Figure out a part. <laughs> That song, Diminishing Returns, had a bri- a key change bridge breakdown guitar solo. Do you remember this? Yeah. And I played what I thought was a great guitar solo. Totally sounded like Jake Lee. Jakey Lee. You said it right then. You're like, great Jakey Lee solo. <laughs> and I was like, yeah. I yeah. Know. High fives. Uh, it had all the hot bits and it started out melodically but Harvey Danger not known for its guitar solo they so couldn't all the melody came from Aaron from the bass yeah yeah, yeah. and uh greatest melodic bass player yeah uh and then there was that other damn song and you played a guitar solo on it I did and it and I, I and it was so good and I just felt like but it was good. It was my style of good, which had no. What? Who cares about what style it is? Good is good. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and they did put that one out. I think. Yeah, no made, shit. Yeah. Your flash scared them. Scared them. Shit. Do you remember? He used to on in the, on stage <laughs> in big big shows. Halfway through, what was the tune? Uh, the lion hearted. Yeah, it, it evoked. It evoked to Mike. Creed's... Because uh, well, it was it was in the same key. Higher and it Love moved. or whatever. What was that song? The big, Higher. The Big Jesus song. Higher Love is Steve Winwood. Oh, right. Anyway, Mike would just throw the Creed riff in. The Creed lick. The Creed lick. I got to tell that story. <laughs> I got to tell that story to Tremonti, the guitar player from Creed. I was like... We, I played ping pong with him all day backstage at a, some big festival. I was just like waiting for someone and he came walking out and I, I just had my the paddle and I just pointed at him and I was like you want to play ping pong <laughs> and he and he got this look on his face and he was like yeah sure and then he just proceeded to like for five hours straight destroy me to the point where he's like look man I gotta go get some lunch right. and I was like no 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 one more <laughs> and then he just crushed me and then finally I was like hey I gotta tell you a story I was in this band Harvey Danger and we had this song and and I'd throw the creed lick in and he was just like I don't, I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, oh, the higher lick the, in the chorus. I threw the chorus lick in, and they and it drove him crazy. And he was just like, I don't know. And I thought it was going to be great, and it just went over like a, this pan- <laughs> this is like a fucking pancake. Well, we were playing big shows then, big, big shows, oh, and you'd yeah. throw it in, and everybody on the stage would grimace like you'd farted. But it was great. I laughed every time. Do you remember every night, Jeff Lynn would fire me? He'd be like, seriously, this, you know, I know this is just fun for you, but this is my art and this <laughs> is, this is my band and my music and you can't do that. I'll send you home. And I was like, I know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I won't do it again. I won't do it again. <laughs> and then I just did it again. I didn't care. He couldn't fire you. I couldn't help it. Yeah, I know. I couldn't help it. Was it was right there, the low hanging fruit. 